In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensors on this BMW 550i. These are gonna be located in the exhaust system up near the catalytic converters. Let's get into it. Remove this lower panel, use a Phillips head screwdriver. Just loosen these screws up. They're gonna stay with the panel. Should be another one there. Just twist it a few turns. Grab the panel, slide it back. We're gonna remove this panel in the back here. There's two Phillips head screws. We're gonna take those out. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver there and over here. Take those out. Then the rest are eight millimeters. Just use an eight millimeter socket. Back by the transmission. This shield, this center cover, we're gonna leave that. And grab the shield. Slide it out. I'm gonna remove this plate. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Take the bolts out. Grab the plate, slide it down. Now I'm just gonna use a pick. Just get underneath this clip right here. Open this little door up. You can see the connector. Pull the connector down. There's a little clip right there. You just want to push on that tab. There we go. So just push on that tab. Then you can disconnect the connector. I'm going to take the wires out of this clip right here. Pull the O2 sensor wire out. And further up there's a clip. Let's pull that back. We'll go underneath all the wires. Pull it out of that clip. Now we're going further up. Now further up, I'm just using a pick just to get the wire out of the Little bracket right there. That popped right out. Now the wire is free. Now I'm gonna take this bracket off. Just use a eight millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. Using a seven eighths wrench or a 22 millimeter wrench. Reach in and then we can loosen up the O2 sensor. and reach up and twist it. Loosen it up the rest of the way. And pull that down out of the way. Take the new sensor. Slide it in place. 
And you want to get it started by hand. And then I'll tighten this down. It's a little tight to get a torque wrench in there. If you can, you want to torque this to 35 foot pounds. That's good. Now I'll feed this wire in. Make sure it's untwisted. Take this bracket, get this lined up. Okay, I'll tighten this down. Snug that down. Now we're gonna get the wire underneath this clip. I'm just gonna use the pick. Just be careful not to damage the wire. Just get it under there. Out of the way, come down here, another clip here, in there, and then we can fold that over. And then the other clip down here. Looks good. Take the connector. Line it up, connect it, make sure it's locks down in place. And clip the connector in and we'll close this door. Take this shield, line it up, get the bolt started. Tighten these up. Snug those down. I'll put this panel up. Get this lined up. Started. It's going to go that way a little bit. And this back one had a Phillips head screw. And 
tighten these all down. Snug those down, put this panel out, get it lined up. And take a Phillips head screwdriver, get the screws started. and the rest of the panel. There you go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.